Assalamualaikum and welcome back to our example. Today we're going to continue to example 7. As you can see here, cable for this one is unsymmetrical. Remember this formula. L1 divide L2 equal to D1 divide B D2 square root. As we can see here, this cable subjected to UDL of 20 kN and also safe weight of 6 kN per meter. In between support is 80 meter. The lowest point what is 15 meter and 9 meter lower than the left support. So you have to find the horizontal axis then from the lowest point from A to the lowest point and to find T max and T min. So we can simplify our drawing like this. We have vertical VB and HP horizontal similarly at A we have vertical at A and we have horizontal at A for this direction it's up to you to take left positive or left negative but we don't know this distance x distance but we know total distance so we name it as x so balance is 80 minus x for the udl please remember you have 12 kN plus 6 kN so we have 18 kN per meter l1 divide l2 equal d1 divide d2 square root 80 minus 8 and your l2 is x then your d1 is 6 while d2 is total so 15 which is 9 plus 6 by using calculator x is 49.01 meter now take summation at a equal to 0 for our entire structure so at 70 we're gonna have clockwise to point a so 70 times 20 at 50 kilonewton we have 50 and perpendicular distance is 50 plus 20 so 70 then for hb is clockwise to point a perpendicular distance is 9 meter and for vv anti-clockwise to point a so it's negative and perpendicular distance is 10 plus 50 plus 20 so we have 80 and please remember you have udl so your udl is 18 plus 18 for distance and 80 divided by 2 80 divided by 2 and equal to 0 this one as first equation we take segment cb and take summation moment at c equal to 0 positive clockwise this one for segment cb segment segment cb is similar we cut half our cable so it look like a cantilever negative hb because it's anti-clockwise to point c perpendicular distance is 6 meter 6 meter and vb is anti-clockwise so negative vb so we know our x value so we can get value for x t minus x so x t minus minus 49.01 so we get 30.99 then we have 50 
to point C is clockwise, so positive. Distance is 30.99 minus 10 meters, so we have 20.99. And please remember, we have UDL. For cantilever, please remember what you learn from TOS. For cantilever, when you have UDL, the fixed end moment for that one is WL squared divided by 2. Your UDL is 18. L is now 30.99 power of 2 divided by 2 equal to 0. So this is your second equation. Now we have two unknown HP and VB and we have two equations. Solve this by using your calculator. We get HB equal to negative 1530.41 kN and also we have VB equal to 609.08 kN. Now you see your HB is negative. That means the direction is other way around. So we have HB and VB. Now we take summation of Fy equal to 0. Summation of Fy equal to 0. Positive upward. So we have negative 18, your UDL, for distance of 80 meter minus 70 kN minus 50 kN plus VA which is we don't know yet and also plus your VB we got that previously so this one is 609.08 equal to 0 so we have VA equal to 950.92 kN now we take summation fx equal to zero your assumption positive to the right so ha minus minus negative hp don't forget your hp for this calculation you get negative so keep that as negative equal to zero so you have ha equal to negative 1530.1 for one kiloliton emax so from horizontal and vertical forces which is the highest that will make the highest dmax therefore your dmax h power of 2 plus v power of 2 so negative 1530.41 power of 2 plus 950.92 power of 2 square root so we get dmax 1801.78 kN and for t min t minimum tension minimum the minimum is at the lowest point where v is 0 therefore your t min is the minimum H negative 1 5 30.4 power of 2 plus V your V here is 0 because at the lowest point is T minimum so we get our T minimum 1530.41 kN